Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. I know this is not how you normally start a tutorial, but I want to give some context to why I'm making this because I know it's going to be a really short video. There's a group at my college called Friday Nighters, and we wanted to create an email that was like the central point of communication. So like if people had questions, I could email to that address and we could send out a message from that one. So that was the like official point of communication. But when you create a new Gmail, like in our case, um, you cannot immediately send out a group email because otherwise Gmail thinks you are spam and that was not our case. So after looking into it, we found Google Groups and that was how we were more easily able to send out a mass email without Google thinking we were spam. And I'm going to show you how you can set this up for whatever reason you need it. So onward to the tutorial. <laughs> to create a Google Group, you will first need to go to groups.google.com. Once you're here, you will click create group. You will give the group a name. <laughs> Meh, whatever. I create a group email address, even though it creates it for you, but I want to not have the hyphens. And that will be the group email. Then if you want to see the list of things that have been posted, you just go to this link right here. You can give it a description. <laughs> Pick the language, so in my case it's English. Basically go through the rest of the settings, so select group type. And each of them have different settings, but this is an email list. So once you have all the settings the way you want it, and everything filled out the way you want it to be, I mean you can go back and edit it later, then you will click create. Do all the verification stuff, then you can invite people to join the group, enter your email addresses, you can write an invitation message, and then you'll hit send invites. Bloop. Again, I'm not a robot. Or you can direct add people, which is what I probably should have done. Whoops. And voila. So now we can see all the people who are in our list. And then we can further customize our forum. And make sure you hit save. And you can moderate the messages um, if you want. You can enable tags and categories. You can change permissions. Then we can go back to our group and then to create a message, you'll click new. Then you can choose to send as yourself or post on behalf of the uh, forum, I guess. Then basically you write a message like you would any other email. Give it a subject. You can choose the type of post, whether it be start a discussion or make an announcement. But the rest of it is basically like what you would do in writing up an email. So. We're going to... So we created a subject line and because of the subject, we're going to make it a announcement and then he'll compose our message. Then we can hit post and voila, this is where we see our messages. Then if I go open up an email, which was one of mine that I sent it to, then I can see that I have an email from the Josh Shirley Tech News group and that I was forcibly added. Um, and I can see the email and then I can reply to it. Hit and then if I refresh the page, then I will see that there are two messages. The message I sent and then the message that someone sent back. So it's basically how you use Google Groups as an easy mass email or group email messaging system thing. So anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. You can click right over here to subscribe to the respective channels and click right over here to see my previous video. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.